Autonis describes itself as the first automatic fire suppression system that integrates seamlessly into the home. Its mist technology quickly fills the kitchen with a dense fog which suppresses the blaze. The company's mission is to help introduce affordable domestic fire protection into the mainstream. The team are made up of Yusuf, one of the inventors of Automist with an industrial design background, William, an experienced mechanical engineer with a family background in fire protection, and Alan, the commercial director whose job it is to drive the strategy of the business and get the product to market. The company's roots are in a collaboration between graduates from the Imperial College London and Royal College of Art. Using the funding and expertise made available through Design London, the product was put into development in early 2009 at Imperial College. There's all sorts of facilities from milling machines to uh, lathes and drills. Um, but it's, it's, it's fantastic because we've got all of this stuff on our doorstep. Um, if you want to experiment, um, it's, it's all here. Well, without training, fire extinguishers can actually be a fire risk. Um, in an emergency situation, someone should be solely focused on escaping the premises. The advantages of Automist are that it's low cost, it's easy to retrofit, um, and it automatically offers you fire protection in the home. The team began testing their prototype while at the Design London Incubator. It was a massive step going up to the building research establishment. The guys there had experience doing fire testing for years um, and could compare the system against sprinkler systems and other fire suppression systems. We were able to prove that it could improve survivability and, and reduce damage. We had done a lot of fire tests which were very technical and scientific and we needed some sort of footage that showed a truly burning fire in the kitchen. So I got a, a day when my wife was traveling for work and we scheduled to do that some, some fire tests at home. And so this is my kitchen and this is uh, a fire that we put there, a paper roll, we had a oil pan fire as well. It's not massive water droplets, it's really just mist. And when it goes off, there's very, very little cleaning to do. No wonder we were able to do it 30 times in the kitchen. There was, there was no, practically no damage to the kitchen at all. Practically no damage. Yeah. <laughs> Automist quickly achieved recognition. The British Library uh, exhibition was, in terms of a PR, was very good because it put us together with some very strong existing products already and generated a lot of exposure for us. Yusuf was even twice on the radio. Now, an exhibition at the British Library this week showcases the 50 most ingenious inventions to have come out of the UK in the last 20 years. My name's um, Yusuf Mohammed, and I'm an inventor of Automist. It's an easy-to-retrofit fire suppression system. And we really wanted to come up with something that made a difference. We even kind of set the remit that we'd like to save lives. I think there's lots of challenges you face as a startup because there's not many of you to get things done, but there's a lot to get done. Maybe I'd say that the biggest challenge is prioritising all of those things whilst not cutting corners, or at least only cutting corners that don't matter. So what was Design London's role in helping the team overcome these challenges? Design London was very helpful in terms of providing external stimulus to try and keep us on track, to make sure that we were behaving like a professional organisation. Looking into potential customers and what were their willingness to pay, what was the the difficulty of installing it, we had to learn all these things during the incubation period and make sure that we we're good for it, yeah. The manager here has been really helpful because he's got a lot of experience in model making specifically. It was great to just kind of have someone who could bounce ideas off, um, someone who's been in industry and, and done it before um, to kind of challenge your design. Peer-to-peer -peer learning is very helpful. I think it was very helpful to have a community of other incubatees around us and even just talking to them over coffee or when you meet them in the corridor, you get a feel for what's normal. And I think you can't do that without some sort of incubator environment. It's a sort of unique quality of it. As one of our mentors in Design London said, entrepreneurship is an imperfect experience and we learn it like every day. You're always on an evolution of the business and demonstrating that it is viable and that you're removing the risks the startup has. 
So I think Design London was very good for setting you know, a set of expectations for what you should have at a certain stage of being a startup, the things you should be doing, um, the things you should and shouldn't be worrying about at different times, and just forcing you to discuss those things. Thank you.